Hello trainers, it's your favorite content creator Ganetto and today we're having an exciting team to use. So we're starting off with a matchup upon the lead followed up by the safe switch which is gonna be Lapras and the closer Trevenant. Uh, most of the times uh, I'm playing this team with a switch out to Lapras but uh, it was uh, pretty late for me to realize that uh, I had to stay in on bad leads as well. Any ghost type is not that bad for matchup because you can still threat a shield or bring it to no HP if you shield correctly. Uh, so you can see here that my matchup is absolutely going crazy against the Macargo and I encountered a few Macargos yesterday, I don't know why people seem to like it a lot and uh, to be honest it is a pretty good generalist especially if you can encounter something uh, other than a fighter or a mad boy. So moving on into the next one right now because we are absolutely shredding apart this Macargo double dragon line, uh, so we're having a bad lead overall against Araquanid. According to PV Poke, Araquanid can beat every single uh, Pokemon from this line, but we have access to Matsam. So what I want to do here is to take a move because we resist the back bus and of course Bubble Beam is just gonna do almost no damage at all and then bail out to my safe switch Lapras. I already took a shield out of this Araquanid, so that can mean only one thing that we can safely go for a Skull Bus here and if they do not shield this is gonna do tremendous damage. Uh, so they'd say to go for the switch to catch the skull bus on their wall rhine but guess what trainers our uh, defense is back to its normal stats icicle spear is not gonna finish us off and we can go for the last second skull bus for the second time and wall rhine goes down to our lapras this is why i prefer lapras over wall rhine it has access to skull bus which does more job on this cap overall so going in now with my trevenant and i will try to go and snipe them down with a sad ball because we are they are down one sealed so i'm like they are not gonna seal but they sealed it uh, so right here i'm just gonna block the bubble beam and i have to outspeed to the shadow ball which we barely can so down goes the and whatever th there is at the back with one sealed i think that my matcham can absolutely handle it so here comes out this uh, frost last and the pure rock slide will be it at this point trainers be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you already haven't because it really helps a lot and with that said now let's move forward into the next one because we're having a very good lead against Aboma Snow uh, so Aboma Snow is one of the Pokemons that can uh, hurt my backline a lot so I'm pretty glad to encounter it up on the lead with my uh, Machamp uh, so having now my Trevon coming in going for the Shadow Ball which was barely a mistake because uh, a pure uh, Seed Bomb barely could do the job done uh, so I'm like okay just go seed bomb after that uh, next time I will go for seed bombs for sure against a Jellicent so Jellicent gonna go with the shadow ball finishing us off but we have our Lapras which can come in we can safely take at least one uh, shadow ball and still survive so I'm like let's farm down all that energy and whatever they throw we're just gonna be fine However, my opponent here decided to go for a back-to-back -back bubble beam, which is kind of weird. So now after I charge up to almost a double serve, I'm just gonna switch out to my matchup, farm a little bit, and then they answer back with an Araquanid. That means now that they have not only that, uh, uh, Bomba Snow but also the Araquanid which will get hurt by my rock slides and of course just the pure cross up will be it for the Bomba Snow to faint uh, since we can definitely outspeed to the CMP uh, since we take the CMP by far Machamp a pure uh, attack weighted Pokemon. Uh, no, now for the next one we're facing a pretty neutral lead against Cantonia Ninetales so for this one I think because they are shadow one cross up might do the work let's see how my opponent reacts here and perhaps they I thought they could go for the Sysok but that was not the case at all because we can still uh, destroy them down. So bringing in now the Medicham and perhaps I could, I could have gone here for the Rock Slide for the maximum amount of damage but I thought that I could reach another uh, cross up that was not the case at all and I have to answer back with my Trevenant. Trevenant and completely uh, wall to that Medicham and they have uh, a Noctowl at the back so we have perfectly aligned our Pokemon with them, with theirs so I'm just gonna uh, try and uh, go for the double self here perhaps we take a shield or two let's see together trainers one serve one more coming up if they double block this this is gonna be really huge because then my trevenant will be on the optimal scenario to uh, sweep but this uh noctowl still needs to be much lower than this so my opponent decides to go for the switch i was waiting one or two more 
seconds for my switch hopefully we kept that energy alive on our uh, lapra so now we can pressure them with our uh, seed bomb dealing massive damage just kidding not massive at all because they resist and they're just gonna leave the match and we have one whole lapras with a surf ready they knew that so we're just gonna take the victory next one a horrible lead against the ghost type but what did i tell you i did not know that uh, uh, from uh, the start of my battles so every time i was seeing a ghost type i was like okay let's bail out so right here i just uh, want to stay in because I'm just gonna for uh, gonna go for the over farm, gonna bait the cross up, and then gonna land this huge rock slide. They're just gonna go for the double block, which is absolutely awesome for me, and they are forced to throw because otherwise I could perhaps go for another rock slide. They did not know that. I'm not sure if I was, but anyways, I'm just gonna uh, destroy them down here because I can simply uh, shield this move and perhaps completely farm down two, three, four, five, six shadow claws for the the complete farm down they need one more i guess for the shadow ball so i'm just gonna go here for the immediate uh shadow ball on their altaria and they have an arachnid at the back things can be tricky right now but hopefully we can outspeed here to the skull boss because arachnid it's pretty weird on its charge attacks so we can absolutely uh take a move right now with this uh bug bus is gonna lower our defense which is kind of not the best scenario for us but we can definitely go for another move another skull bus take out this arachnid and do some really nice damage to that altaria we are almost to a shadow ball we're gonna fire it off right away because seed bomb is a double resisted and we're gonna take another victory trainers against a very bad lead against a ghost type with our fighter Next one, and the Town of Flame uh, against our Matcham. Matcham, the pure fist Pokemon, is just gonna go in there with the bait, the cross chop, and we're just gonna take the shield. That's pretty cool, actually. So we're just gonna stay in uh, and see how they respond to that because they're trying to farm us down. That means we have time to go for a rock slide, threat another shield, and they're gonna go for the total farm down, which is kind of bad because now we have to go with Lapras, absorb one move, hopefully this is gonna be just a flame charge just a flame charge and it deals about 50% and now we have to block uh, since we blocked here I'm like let's go with uh, the surf on that matchup and perhaps now we can safely farm all the way down if they run payback yeah we lost if they do not we're just gonna farm down and see how my opponent responds uh, from that point and on if they come in with talent flame right now I have to go for that extra shadow claw then go for the move before that uh, uh, incinerate damage uh, uh, is registered and they have a mud boy at the back this means that my seed bomb is absolutely going to town because one seed bomb uh, alone is just gonna do enough damage to the swambert and we're gonna take the victory next on trainers and macargo up on the lead so as i saw as i said before uh, quite a few macargos yesterday i don't know why uh, this pokemon a pretty good generalist but it really struggles against waters against uh, uh, ground types and of course against fighters so having uh, our, our lapla <laughs> come on our lapras to face the this uh, Lamarwak because we have the surf so I feel like we can go for one more safely even if that was gonna be a sad bone we could safely go for the move and then just gonna go here for another one so I'm like let's keep that uh, uh, Lapras alive because most probably this is gonna be a bone club and I have to sacrifice a shield here they want to take that switch advantage and I will not allow them at all so worst case scenario here we faint at the same time if they block and they will have no block at all but they decide to take it so Macargo comes in and we have our Matcham going straight for the rock slide just in case they decide to do something weird and yeah they did it so they take the rock slide and we're gonna take the victory and to be honest that was not a bad play by their part that was their win condition so I really understand it uh, next one and we're facing a matchup up on the lead they're switching out to the hypno and that's uh, pretty controversial because now uh, I'm gonna go in now with my Trevenant so seeing the hypno coming in uh, my original thoughts were they must have an ABB team and yeah here it is it is an ABB team with Oranguru and they thought I was gonna go for seed bomb so that's why they didn't block at all so I'm just gonna go for another seed bomb here which is really huge but they're gonna farm 
Thomas down and gain a lot of energy. However, with that amount of energy, we have the Lapras which can absorb it and we know for sure that this Pokemon runs Confusion, Foul Play and Psychic, so it's kinda safe for me to not to worry about uh, the moves at all on my Lapras. Going straight for the Surf, they are gonna take it and right now I have to block the Cross Chop. With that Cross Chop blocked, I'm pretty sure I can farm down and still threat a shield or two out of that uh, uh, Oranguru. Let's go with the first cross chop. Gonna do massive damage. So they have to block. We cannot reach to another one. But we have Lapras, which can come in. And I think they need one or two more uh, confusions to finish me off. So that is not gonna be enough. And Lapras is gonna take the victory. Heading into the semi-final match trainers, match up against Leaky Tank, a pretty good lead for us. So we have to stay in. They switch out to the Frostlass, and we have a very good answer to Frostlass Lapras. But guess what, trainers? I make a mistake and then bring Treven on. I don't know why I did that, but uh, obviously Lapras is a better choice against uh, the Avalancer. So yeah, uh, gonna go in now with Trevenant and I will threat two shields out of that Frostlass. They are gonna take the second one, which is really huge. So no big harm happen here but I prefer to keep my Trevenant as a closer and having Lapras sitting there it's kind of weird for me uh, however they're gonna farm us down and we have that Machamp which can absolutely wreck apart this Leaky Tank and Leaky Tank is absolutely everywhere in the current meta people enjoy using it but I do not have an Excel one so I will not use it at all on my videos soon uh, going in now with my Lapras to absorb the Asikli Spear I was counting the moves and they made one extra I believe at the moment so let's go here with the Lapras which can absorb not only the Tassic Spear but also the Earthquake and we have the time to go for the Skull Bus to finish off this wall line. they are getting pretty close to another Earthquake I did not want to go for the risk here and they're just gonna bail out because they cannot farm us down we're gonna go for at least one move they have to fire off and stuff like that will happen so next on in the final long trainers and we're facing a Kofaga I goes up on the lead another bad lead so many bad leads on this video but we also had some good ones as well so much I'm a pretty controversial lead to be honest but overall a pretty cool one if you can play this correctly uh, as you are seeing against the ghost type you can still go pretty hard on that Pokemon uh, since we have the rock slides going up uh, against this one pretty effectively and they have the Altaria which comes in so aligning here my uh, Trevenant with that beware because they make a controversial swap out as well so many controversial things happening with this matchup uh, to be honest so another seed bomb will thread the shield they're gonna go here for a move and if that is not a payback we can survive it it is a payback though down we go and my matchup will come in for the total farm down we have the time to go for the cross chop but they're just gonna farm us down with the dragon breaths and of course now we have the lapras aligned with that uh, uh, Altaria, so everything is gonna be just cool for me since we can simply farm down all the way and the victory will be for us. So that's all trainers, thank you for watching, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't because it really means a lot to expand our little community that we have over here and with that said trainers, stay safe and I hope to see you all into the next one. Take care trainers!